The Air Force elements coordinate movement of their supporting craft through the corridors within the Army-controlled block of airspace. Also, the division's engineers can construct a remote airstrip within two days to handle both caribous and C-130s. Meanwhile, at the then primitive RMK airstrip, Army and Air Force transports began bringing in the equipment. When Army aircraft are reinforced with aircraft from the Air Force, and with the use of airborne techniques to put assault units on the objective, this capability is increased tremendously. These varied mobility means are the distinctive features of air mobile units. Once on the objective, their mission is the same as any combat unit, to close with and destroy the enemy. As the brigade attack gains momentum, additional units arrive as reinforcements and to seize other objectives. The versatility of air mobile units is improved by their partial airborne capability, another effective means of delivering large numbers of troops on the objective. After the initial assault, helicopters are redistributed to air-landed and air-dropped units to increase their mobility.